Greetings and welcome to Cooking Up Advice with Dr. June, where we cook up a dish and we dish out advice. Unfortunately, we're not in the studio with our kitchen, but we are still cooking up advice. And today we're going to talk to Dawn Ellerby, who has done so many things, fantastic things in her life, from athletics, Olympics, to blogging, to just looking gorgeous in fashion. So join us and let's dish. Hi, Dawn. Good morning. Hi, how are you? I'm very well. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. I'm happy to be here. Wonderful. So we want to know so much. I mean, you know, I see you looking fabulous. I know that you show, you know, pictures from your athletic life. And I told you that I was at the Olympic trials and I think that I actually saw you, you know, um, there. And I was like, oh my God. So when I saw you on social media, I was like, you know, I wanted to connect. So can you just tell us a little bit about your past and how you, what you're doing now? Yeah, great. Thank you so much. Hello, everyone. Um, I am, my name is Dawn Ellerby, like Dr. June said, and I am from Long Island, New York. I got into sports when I was in high school. I did, uh, I played basketball and I ran track and field. And then I went to the university, I got a scholarship to the University of South Carolina, and that's where I was introduced to and fell in love with the hammer. And it was not love at first sight. It was really <laughs> hard at first sight. <laughs> it was like fall down, get up, fall down 10 times, get up 11. It was really tough at first, love at first sight. Um, it was tough love. And then I um, did well in college and I had the opportunity to go to grad school at the University of Wyoming, which was a challenge because there was no one who looked like me at the University of Wyoming, just me. Wow. <laughs> I, think I, was that, I was like, Wyoming? <laughs> <laughs> Yep. But nonetheless, we, um, we went to the University of Wyoming and I, can, I worked there as an athletics coach. So a lot of my, um, of my background is in athletics and I put a lot of that, what I've learned being an athlete into what I'm trying to do now in the um, blogging world, working in fashion. Um, my real job, I work in college athletics. I'm an athletics director, a sports administrator. So I oversee a couple of sports at um, Cal State University Northridge. And what that is, I just make sure that they stay on track as far as like budget and recruiting and getting mm -hmm. talent into the university and staying in, um, involved with, the, with um, compliance and um, representing the university well. I love what I do. You know what I, I love, love working with the people. Mm -hmm. And I'm sorry to interrupt you, but you know what I love is because like I have a friend who's also a farmer and you are an athlete. And a lot of times they don't put athlete farmers, different careers with beauty. So I love that you are showing that, you know what, you can still be an athlete. You can still, you know, but you can still, you know, show your pretty side, so to speak. But anyway, I'm sorry to interrupt. That just made me think about that. I love that point. And I, um, I would encourage all women all women have a beautiful side. And sometimes like your beautiful side does not have anything to do with makeup or the clothes you wear. It's like what's in your heart and how you feel about yourself is what makes you beautiful. And a lot of times people do equate being a good athlete, a successful athlete with being more masculine. Mm -hmm. And right. um, I think that I've always, I've always, that wasn't my thing. You mm -hmm. know, I being a bigger woman, I'm six foot two. Um, I wear a size 18, 20, so I'm not a little thing. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but she's I'm a gorgeous a thing. Yeah, you know, you got to look yeah. at her pic. She's gorgeous. And yeah. so that was always something that, you know, or almost automatically was addressed to me as being more masculine. So I think that is one reason why I kind of got into, um, got into fashion, um, because I just wanted to kind of express myself that way, not always as an athlete. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Tell us about your blogging. Okay, I started my blog. I was going through a little bit of a tough time in life, and I wanted to do something. And I, um, I started my blog just writing about how I feel and working in work. Not, I don't work in fashion. That is mm -hmm. my desire, my goal. You know, we can't transition anytime. It's never too late. But my goal was just to like, I was journaling and writing things down. And I started to post on social media. and People were like, I feel the same way. 
you know, preach, sister. I feel the same <laughs> way. And I begin to say, well, I can put, put a platform together and like being creative nowadays, anyone can start a blog. Anyone can have an Instagram page, a Facebook page and express what you're trying to talk about because there's someone out there that needs to hear it. And there's someone out there that can relate to you. Right. That's kind of why I started because I was listening to some of my friends having trouble finding like shoes. Like I wear a size 12 or 13 in shoes. I wear 18, 20 in clothing and I'm tall. So mm -hmm. that combination is not, you don't shop off the rack. So being mm. able to find things and help my girlfriends find things that they love too. That's kind of how I got started in blogging. Oh, you know what? I loved it. Well, you know what? I cannot relate because I'm short. I'm five feet tall. So it's like, you know, and sometimes that's a problem because I'm also, I'm short, you know, considered petite because I'm under five, four, but I'm top heavy. So, you mm -hmm. know, sometimes that is also a problem. So it's good. You know, I love that you are expressing and sharing that, you know, you can look a certain way. You don't have to be traditional what they sell in the stores and still look good and fashionable. And so that's important. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad that you started that. And Thank I'm glad you are relating to that too. So that's Thank really great. You. So, you know, we're all about positivity. You know, I'm Aptatious app, accentuating positive thinking. And so what is it that you do? You said that you like to work with the young people. And so mm -hmm. there are things that you do to also try to encourage them as well. Mm -hmm. I work with, um, with student athletes mm -hmm. and I always tell them, I think sometimes that most of the positive thing I can say to them or anyone is like oftentimes, especially as women, we always are at, say, thank we're thankful for this opportunity. We're blessed someone gave us this opportunity. And nine times out of 10, nobody gave you anything. Mm -hmm. You earned that opportunity. Right. right? So I kind of want my athletes and I want you to start changing your mindset to saying someone gave me something to I earned it. You know, right. like you think back to when we were little and your parents gave you a dollar for every chore you did in the house. Mm -hmm. And you, know, you clean the whole house, you earn that 15 or 10, that 10 or 15 dollars, right. right? They didn't <laughs> give it to you. So I think as we start growing in our lives, we have to realize that we're, we're earning these things. No one's giving them to us. Um, right. And I try to tell my athletes that, and that allows them to appreciate if they've got a scholarship, a spot on the team, you know, the grades that they get, that they're actually earning them and no one's giving them, giving that to them. And I think that's one positive thing I love to share with them. And it, you can tell they like click when they realize that, I deserve to be here because I earned my spot. No one gave me mm -hmm. anything. Mm -hmm. And I think that's one positive thing I like to share with my student athletes. That's great because I think that sometimes in the back of their mind, they really don't know that they deserve or what they've done to, you know, their accomplishments. And then they're like, oh, well, you know, so I'm here. So that's good that they have someone like you to encourage Thank them you. to do that, to do that. So what we're going to have to do when we're able to have our conferences again, you're going to have to come and actually speak those words of empowerment to- I lo I'd love to. I, I really, I really am excited about that. Would you like to share with our viewers your blog so that they can- find you and follow you thank you um my blog is dlrb.com so it's d-e-l-l-e-r-b-e.com great we're going to actually have that for you in our our information at the bottom of the youtube screen so that you can follow her and get that information because i really love as i said that she's very positive and she's let everybody know it doesn't matter, you know, what you look like, how tall you are, how short you are, <laughs> that you can still live your life and, and look good and feel good about yourself. So I'm really excited about that. Are there any other things that you want to share with us, Don, before we shut off today? There's just one thing I want, I'd like to share. And we talk about, I talk about this with anyone I speak to. It's, it's the difference between good and great. And every time you think about that, um, I'm sure everyone has the potential to be great. We just kind of sit on it sometimes. And you know, I, I ask my student athletes to raise their, I ask anybody who I'm talking to, if I'm talking to a group, raise your hand, how many people know that they're good and the hands that shoot up? Mm -hmm. How many people know that they're great? And people are afraid to put their hands up, right? And I tell them the difference between good and great is only this much, right? It's only this much, mm -hmm. but it's that much every day. So if everything that you're doing, if you could just do it this much better every single day, you'll find that difference between good and great. And I'd like to share that with the group. I love it. Love it. Love it. G and G. Good and great. Right. G and G. 
Thank you so much for taking the time. I know that you do a lot of things and I really appreciate that you took the time to talk with us today. And I hope that people will definitely follow your blog so that they can get some of that positivity. Thank you Thank again. You. I hope you have a great day. I'm really glad we connected. You have a great day too. Thank you. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and follow us. See you next time. Oh, God.